believe in power of networking and also i suggest you to be innovative in your nature and in your every state and these are the two human chain i led power and energy society day celebration and i triple day celebration by our women in engineering affinity group you know it's not only a human chain to me it's a connectivity that helped me to finding my uh, research papers uh, finding my uh, computational facilities because i use deep learning i need high computational gpu and many other things and in the left side bottom you can find uh, the societies and the affinity groups where i have been involved through my technical research and other professional activities and since we are living in subcontinent it is always important to connect your research and innovation or any activities to the united nations sustainable development goals you know there are 17 sustainable development goals like sustainable cities and communities and ieee is so great it has a special group for ieee smart grid ieee smart cities ieee brain initiatives and so many things ieee entrepreneurship community like that so changing and now this covid 19 is here for applying your research or your innovation you do not just you do not not just need to wait to be a phd you know you can think about solving a problem in the community and provide technological solution you can design an automatic hand sanitizer and you can really think and collaborate with all student branches request your honorable vice chancellor so that it can be deployed to the rural community where they are really needed and you know this covid when started you know and it was a curse for many of us but you know my students were sent back to the um, village home from the hostels and i really encourage them to collect the test extra images to know whether it is covid 19 positive or covid 19 negative to give it an automatic detection and they were so excited they started collecting extra images ct images ultrasound images together and finally after 1.5 years they came up with a very good architecture capscovnet to detect covid-19 automatically uh, uh, from multimodal imaging techniques and recently it has been published in ieee transactions on artificial intelligence so you can read such papers so that you can really know how to collect the database how to collect data from your local community how to build your python skill so there are so many items here and it is an interdisciplinary research although i am a professor from tripoli it is an is an it needs knowledge of computer vision it needs knowledge of computer programming so it's a huge thing and also there are there is a huge problem of musculoskeletal radiographs abnormality you know because 1.7 billion people are suffering from this disease so i really try to choose a problem that will give solution to the billions of people that's why my students have developed a capsule network for abnormality detection from such radiographs and also tuberculosis detection these are some examples you can choose for biomedical research using artificial intelligence because we are uh, we are embracing uh, the fourth industrial revolution so these are items where you can work and you can concentrate and you know you can really apply different deep learning techniques and assemble together to really uh, detect tuberculosis and you can read the papers to really know more about it and you know i always encourage you to participate in global competitions in last uh, october in icip it's a flagship conference of signal processing society you know there was a competition was launched for distortion classification in laparoscopic videos you know my students have developed this net network to really help designing the distortion classification so that the manual error coming from the surgery 
can be overcome. So these are highlights and these are problems you can think about. And this is the detail of the DISNET network. And these are different types of laparoscopic uh, distortions that you can find in laparoscopic videos and this is a shallow network that students have designed and most important is the self attention part you can read more about it and this is the learning curve that means when you are using any learning model the most question important is how accurate it is and what is the loss you know our method is showing uh, better accuracy with lower loss this is an important learning but when you go to the performance accuracy loss and there is another statistical score that is called cohen kappa score and also you need to know how your model is working for the unseen data this is very very important now since it is a laparoscopic video distortion classification another important point for you maybe what is the timing you can see in the competition my students method was top three but for a timing it was the fastest which are important points for our innovation and research and that's also another important thing denoising of ecg signal uh, seizure activity classification from the brain signal these are published in biomedical signal processing and control you can read more about it and we are now working on designing different deep learning network to solve those problems to reduce computational complexity do it faster help the doctors to take the decision very fast and more accurate way and you know i'm a uh, i'm a huge advocate of women empowerment through research and i know our women are suffering from skin cancer but skin diseases but they're shy to do it to do the diagnosis so these are digital images and you can see there are a lot of problematic areas we call it region of interest you know and you can apply deep learning techniques to find the region of interest at the same time uh, you can also uh, help uh, taking the document taking the decision in a faster and accurate way and one day you can think about transforming this whole thing in an app so that it can be accessible by anyone in the hill tracks area or in the rural community you know in bangladesh or in the world or in the africa or in the sri lanka or in any other parts of indonesia you cannot really guarantee that everybody who needs to measure glucose and monitor glucose and they have glucometer because it is expensive and it is also invasive so you can think about non-invasive blood glucose estimation you know and you can launch yourself as an entrepreneur and this is the way of transforming your project ideas into product you can check about it in the triple explore and also jaundice detection this is very important for neonatal a lot of neonates are suffering from jaundice but you know my students are not mechanical students but still they have developed this mechanical structure and made goggles adjustable chin rest like that you know the hiltrex mother can send the image of the sclera of the child uh, to the server and server can do the deep learning to do the take the decision and doctor can access it remotely and send the decision uh, very quickly and most important to work with the disabled community. If you want to ensure education, entertainment, and accessibility for them in future. I was working with sign language. I found that everything is English, but you know, I speak Bengali and we speak Bengali. And there are a lot of people, maybe around fifth or sixth ranked language in the world, Bangla. So we have developed the Bengali sign language alphabet recognition system. My students have created this database uh, working with uh, the Deaf and Dumb Association of Bangladesh. And we applied deep learning technique, VGD19 neural network to solve the problem. You know, I have a dream that one day we will make an interface so that a student can come to the university, can order a book in the library using this sign language and go to the canteen like you can order a food. And, you know, it is very important what Kathy said, celebrate the recognition of people. Uh, celebrate and recognize people and most important thing is that uh, to celebrate there are different days 
uh, at a level as they recently celebrated. We invited Laila, who was 2020 IEEE Computer Society president. Our uh, IEEE president, Kathy, is also uh, was also Computer Society president. So it is important to listen from those so that from their research, you can really try to fit it in, in your research. And that will be a good resource sharing. And since I'm chairing Women in Signal Processing for 10 IEEE region, I encourage you to join Signal Processing Cup and Video, video Image Processing Cup competitions. It's not important to always rank high. My team was ranked fourth in SP Cup 2020 and VIP Cup it was ranked fifth. But I told them, you know, and in 2015, they were also ranked fifth and they were very upset. I told that you don't need to be upset. Let us do some more work. And we published three journal papers. Then one student got admission in University of California, Riverside, and another got admission in Princeton University. You know, this is the outcome, the bringing opportunities to the students like you, which I didn't get in my life, you know. And Kathy was a great contributor all the time. Uh, in ICAS, Women in Signal Processing, she contributed really a great and uh, encouraged our signal processing researchers. And also we work so much on diversity and inclusion. Uh, and uh, and uh, we had a lot of initiatives to really ensure uh, that the best practices are shared among technical societies, among us. And, and there are a lot of opportunities coming where you can share your knowledge. IEEE Bangladesh section are, is organizing co-located conference from December three to five. Uh, this Omen in Engineering Conference, for which I was a founder in 2015, now it is it in its seventh year. There are uh, another conference, PIACON, RIACON, SPICSCON, BESITCON. This is the concept of co-located conference so that you can share your experiences, research contributions, and multidisciplinary research and more collaboration. And uh, these are region and technology conference. I, I'm sharing some big conferences that Bangladesh did. You can also join over the world. And also this week on EC, then 2015, uh, it was founded in Bangladesh. And then between Bangladesh and Pune, Bangladesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bangladesh, Thailand, Bangladesh, Bangalore, Bangladesh, Bhubaneswar. And I shared it is coming. Uh, and also International Women in Engineering Leadership Summit, where near, there is not only leadership. We talked about uh, a nuclear power energy education because, because our country is uh, investing much on nuclear power energy education. And we have to really uh, encourage our men and women all together to really embrace those technological achievements. And this instance in 2020, the first region and flagship conference um, which was fully virtual, and I was serving as a general chair of that, and I thank to all the volunteers, and in future, we will do more together. I'm just giving you some examples so that you never miss them, and you join them if it is possible to join virtually, and we also did International COVID-19 Congress to know what our researchers around the world are doing in COVID-19. And recently we did International Women in Engineering COVID-19 Congress. I was amazed to see that what our uh, women, men are thinking about research innovation and work-life balance during COVID-19. It's a really amazing experience for us. I learned a lot, lot from them. And these are some awards you can get and you can also get it yeah, but you do not need to start it from the scratch the way I started. I will be there to mentor you if you need any support to reach out to me. These are some of our group hours. Women in India and Bangladesh become the best in the uh, region 10 and become the best in the whole world. is a great encouragement for all of us. I was the first female chair of Bangladesh in its 25 years history. I work very hard to encourage all of you to win. I to play in the outstanding last section award for my section. It's an honor. Now it is your responsibility to bring it again to our country. And it is always a great honor to receive those awards from uh, for mentees from great leaders like I to play President uh, Jose Mora. And why you will do technical activities? It is very important. Uh, can, you can bring achievement for your community and you can increase visibility to the rest of the world. Our 2020 IEEE EMBS 
uh, our EMBS chapter has received this EMBS Regional Outstanding Chapter Award, and also our SPS has received chapter certification very quickly by designing a lot of conferences, distinguished lecture program, winter school, summer school. Don't miss the opportunity. Connect to the researchers. Connect to your future reviewers, your future postdoc guide, your future PhD supervisor, and reshape your life. And we can change the world because we are engineers, but it is important to share the resources and work together and always upskill yourself and never stop learning as Kathy said. So thank you very much. I really congratulate you for this international virtual summit and gathering so many student lunches together and it became a virtual world. Hope we can work together beyond the border. It is important to exchange the resources beyond the border. Thank you and I wish you all the best. Take care, stay blessed.